common uh, stereotype of a gamer is that they're these forever alone basement nerds that live in this dark one bedroom apartment or something and they just never go outside and they drink Mountain Dew all day long. They live on the ground, they spend all day playing games and they have no goals in life. I'm Stella. I'm a second year grad student at UCSD. Well, my name is Ilya Bibic. My name is Newton. My name is Gordon. I'm from Fremont, California. I'm a first year master's student at UCSD. I'm a fourth year mechanical engineering major. My name's Jawe. I'm currently a uh, fifth year. And right now I'm just a second year at UCSD. My name is Matthew Rilihiasa. I'm a computer science student at UCSD. And I play video games. I guess I also play some games in my free time. I also like games, but I don't know if I'm really a gamer. I just, I just play a lot of games. And I consider myself a gamer. So I think a, a gamer is a person who appreciates and enjoys and plays video games. Has to be all three, I guess. Or I don't know why you would play video games if you don't appreciate and enjoy them. I guess one of the biggest stereotypes for gamers is that if you're someone who plays games, then that's, usually, that's something you devote your whole entire life for, and that's usually your whole entire life. If you perceive as a gamer, you also perceive as being someone that's lazy, someone who spends most of their time playing games and not doing anything else. I would say for some people that stereotype is true that like they could be losers and they could have no lives but there a lot of like at this point a lot of people actually play games it's just the level of uh, gaming that they do like whether they spend all of their free time gaming or whether they do other stuff aside from gaming with their free time as well it's a challenge because a lot of times it all depends on the individual it doesn't depend on whether or not you're actually a gamer or not because a lot of times, like, just because you play games doesn't mean that's er that's the whole thing. That's the only thing you devote your time for. But you can't generalize everyone to be that ki that kind of person. In, in actuality, we're just like every other person out there. However, I think gaming is a really social activity. Like, it's very social. You get to meet new people. It's really fun. And I'm hanging out with my friends, except they're over the internet. I've met like so many friends like through this, so it's really great. Bionic arm! OTG! Bionic arm! Giving set! He has another chance! He's dying! Oh! He's dying! He's dying! Bionic me. arm! Combo oh! B! 3 oh! 0! Combo B takes it 3 0! The sport is something that takes a lot of skill and practice and dedication. I think. I think computer games take a lot of skill, practice, and dedication. Like, how the hell are those guys so good and so dedicated? I can't do that. Like, they have talent, they can think on the spot, and it takes an immeasurable, that's a really big word, amount of skill to get to play at that level. So I think it qualifies as a sport. I mean, it's it's not like a, like a physical sport, but it's more of like a mental sport. Instead of, you know, practicing throwing a football or practicing plays, practicing your free throws. Instead, they're practicing their micro of their units. Yeah, you all think your opponent and really react to like anything they might do without like giving too much of your plan away. Like in a game like basketball or football, like sure, like there are strategies or like game plays and stuff, but it really comes down to how well I guess that player is at that sport. Like how like how well can this guy shoot a basketball? Like how well is this guy like stealing a ball or something? Like yeah, I, like I don't think it's a waste of time. It's just it's like it's a it's a fun hobby for people to do. Like I mean I could say basketball is a waste of time. Like there's a huge like population of people that people that play basketball, but I wouldn't say that many people are gonna make it to the NBA. Like I'm not, I'm not like bashing on basketball players, but I'm just saying, like as an example, like, you can make, you can say any waste of time, but the people that actually do can advocate the fact that, you know, it's it's just their hobby. It's like what they like to do for fun. Uh, you're pretty much saying, 
look, you spent hours and hours playing this game, and I'm still not convinced that you're dedicated to it. That's pretty much what it comes down to, because then you can question the term itself of sports, but you can't question the term of competitiveness and the drive. All that's real, like the time, they, the time these people put in the game, it's there, it's, you can see it. Like Stella says, these, things, these, these players, they do things that you normally can't do yourself. Like they do things that, no, that normal casual gamers can't do, and like that's what is so inspiring, inspiring about them. They pretty much are like the Michael Jordans of video games. They can do things that we can't do and they make us believe. I mean, I'm not a professional, but I'm still an amateur. So I really like where the scene is going because um, I feel like um, it doesn't get enough attention. Uh, people don't realize that people uh, that um, these players actually dedicate a lot of time to get good at what they do, and um, it's just now that people are starting to realize that oh, these guys spend a lot of time and effort to get good at what, get good at playing the video game that they're playing, compared to um, other people that only look at I guess for example sports or like maybe chess or so. So this is something like else that um, that's being brought out into the world, and. I think it's a. I think it's really great um, for people to um, for these people to be acknowledged like for what they do. Like video, yeah, like video games, poker, and chess. They do require a lot more, like a lot, like a lot more mental strength than meets the eye. It's very nerve wracking at first, you know, because you have like thousands of players here watching you, and you hear the noise background, and then you have like at least thirty thousand plus viewers at home watching your matches too. So you, you kind of don't want to choke. You want to play at your best. You want to make sure everyone's like, okay, that guy, he is the he is a beast. And then like I feel like mo most games who are accepted as actual competitive e games, yeah. they all have this same pattern. Like for example, like I guess recently Street Fire start has start slowly start being accepted as a competitive e sport game. So then now you start having players that are actually like sponsor, and now you actually have like teams. Yeah. Um, well, people are putting in hours of hours of hard work into doing what they're doing what they love to do, and I don't think that's a joke at all because like that's what professionals do for any any kind of job. For and this is this is exactly what it is. It's a job. Like you do this for a living. You have to put in you have to put in hard work and t and time to be good at what you do. So this is this isn't a joke at all. This is basically real life. People don't realize that um, a lot of pro pro players actually have. Uh, other jobs like on their own as well like um, or off the top of my head um, there's like a uh, clockwork he's also um, he's a really famous uh, Marvel vs Capcom 3 player hey everyone Andrea Renee here for Cross the Line I'm sitting here with clockwork you know him from the fighting community how are you doing today how's everything going I'm doing all right how about you I'm great uh, he's been playing video games I would say maybe like over like 10 years or so. Sure, I've been playing uh, fighting games competitively for the past maybe 10, 11 years. Uh, I started at golf and stuff over in Northern California. Um, my very first games that I was competitive with were Tekken 3, Tekken Tag, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 1. And eventually once Marvel vs. Capcom 2 came out, I kind of focused on that and I've been focused on Marvel games mostly the past, uh, the past decade <laughs> pretty much. So um, I'm still competitive to this day. I go to as many tournaments as I can. Very cool. Oh, God. He, what is that? What is that? I've like, never seen so many jabs land in single combo without. Like, seriously? The air if the I paused the game and, like, took the recording of this match and watched it in slow motion, I would not be able to figure out what it is that he was doing. And Clockwork will be your first Wednesday Night Fights champion here at Super Arcade. Clockwork is your. Arcade Edition Wednesday Night Fights Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Champion! So Clockwork is actually, um, he's a middle school teacher, like uh, over um, back in LA. I mean, he has like a regular job, like he helps kids out. Like he even calls himself the recess takeaway. Yeah. So I mean, um, yeah, he, I mean, if you, could call, if you call that a loser, like I don't know what a winner is then. I mean, um, he loves like, he loves kids, he loves doing what he does, he's a pro gamer. Like, um, likes teaching kids, um, what more can you ask for?